Hi everyone, Jenny here. I've had a few requests from Australian ladies about where I get my deli paper from that I use in my art journals. Um, origin well, at first I had an awesome friend, Kerry Ann, thank you, send me a whole stack of them. And this is what I think the American ladies use. This is what they call deli paper and it's probably what we call deli paper here too, like in the cafes and that where, you know, they wrap up your toasted sandwiches or whatever. So that's what that is and that's what I normally use and that's what I stick on to um, paper to print through my inkjet, print, inkjet printer. But then the girls told me about Dale at the Thread Studio here in Australia that she sells deli paper. Now I ordered it way back in December, um, paid for it on the 16th, Dale sent it back to me on the 16th and 45, 45 days later I received the original package but in the meantime Dale and I were back and forth trying to get Australia Post to get it out of the sorting facility but anyway Dale sent me a replacement package um, and I received it last week but yesterday the original package arrived so anyway wasn't Dale's issue um, it was Australia Post it had been sitting in the sorting facility all this time and I don't think anyone sits like the mail just goes round and round and round. Now, when I received the package, there was nothing wrong with the post, the, the addressing or the packaging or anything. It was in perfect condition. It was all legible, legible nothing wrong. It was Australia Post issue. So I send that original package back to Deb because I've got my other lot that she sent me. Thanks, Deb, uh, Dale. Um, so now this is the thing. What I thought was going to be this turned out to be this. Now, you, could, you can probably see from the paper that there are lines in it. Okay. I thought, oh no, I've spent this money on the deli paper and it's not deli paper. It's not the same as what I had there. So then I thought, uh, and it's waxed deli paper, so one side is smooth and shiny and the other side is sort of uh, matte and a, a bit, uh, it's smooth but you can feel a little bit of um, texture. So I thought we'd do a comparison. Now I've just put some excess paint that I had left over from um, a page and I'm just going to rip a piece off and I'm going to stick it down with some gel medium and when I stick down um, anything onto my journals I tend to put it on both surfaces so on the page and on the um, paper so there we go, that's that, and then over the top, and over the edges. Okay, now there you can still see the lines in it, okay? Okay, that's fine, we'll get to that later. The uh, deli paper that Carrie Ann sent me, Carrie Ann lives in Australia and she just got it from a, a, a local cafe that sells sandwiches. So, I'm going to put that down there. Okay, now I must say because this, I think. The plain deli paper is um, thinner, not by much, but it is thinner, and therefore you don't get as many creases, wrinkles, bubbles in it. But having said that, you can't see any lines in it like you can with 
the wax dilly paper okay but we don't just put down deli blank deli paper we actually print images on it we stamp and we um, and we also blend it into the page so let's try and do that Now, you can still see the lines in there, but if you're going to use a printed image onto the deli paper, you're not going to see it. What I have noticed a little bit is that it's, you're less likely to see the edges of that wax deli paper, although you can sort of there. But there is more defined in the wax, the, the other wax paper. Alright, having said that, I'll just dry that and be back. So I've just printed them both out, um, printed the, this picture on both the Kerry Ann Deli Paper and the Australian Wax Deli Paper. So this one here is the Australian Wax Deli Paper and a close up you can see that they still have the lines. Okay, not all over the place, it depends on how good you stick it down and straighten it out a little bit um however okay so this is the um us deli paper or the carry ann deli paper and you can see that i get a lot more wrinkles with that it's very um, lightweight and that's why it's hard to handle. You, you can get away with it, like you can be more careful than I am. Alright, so having said that, you're not going to print an image onto deli paper and put it down in your book and have no colour with it. Okay, so, and you're probably not even going to have, uh, like you, you've got to have colour underneath it even really so what well, around it so you've got to have color there somewhere so what I've done is a couple of comparisons okay this one here okay I printed the image that's the Australian wax deli paper now obviously I've, I've covered a lot of it up but and underneath that is some um, grey paint and I'll show you after that's how I got to these um, pages and then this one here is the American slash Kerry Ann wax uh, uh, deli paper okay so that's it there that's the American slash Kerry Ann and that one's the Aussie. Okay. Not a lot of difference. Not when you get all your paint and colouring and everything down um, to the page that you're working on. Okay, so. What I thought I would also like to add is that all right hold on I'm thinking 
the size of this jelly paper that Carrie Ann gave me is approximately 15 inches by 13 inches. Okay, so but you can cut it in half to attach it to your printed paper. This Australian Deli paper is 10 and a half by 10 inches and it's small enough that you can put under your trimmer and cut it down to your um, paper size okay quite easily you could iron that out too if you could actually iron the wax off it because you really don't need the wax okay so in summary I'm happy with this paper I do like this paper as well um, this one here from Dale at the Thread Studio, I'll put a link up on the screen here or down below in the video or both um, to where you can get this here in Australia. Um, and this one, I'm still going to try and source my local cafes to try and get some of this. Okay, but for what you do, um, for what you use it for, it's perfect I think um, and also when you put it over okay let's try that shall we now did I have one on here no um, all right I'll be back when I find a page okay I just wanted to get a page that I'd already started but that I hadn't finished so that I could stamp onto this wax deli paper and adhere it down and see what it looks like. Okay, it stamps on there beautifully. Now I've stamped, oh silly girl, hmm, I'll do both because there is a shiny side and a matte side and I like to adhere down the shiny side so I'm going to stamp on the matte side over here. Alright. Cut them off. Strip them off. Okay. Matte. Shiny. And now the page here. So say you had some texture paste under there and you couldn't stamp right over it so let's um, stamp directly on it but what you could do is stamp on some tissue paper or some deli paper and adhere it down so now I'm not going to use oh, okay I'll use this as well the um, American deli paper oh, well. Australian but I think this is what you guys use. Alright so let's go there. And now I'll dry them and I'll be back to glue them down. I did find was because it's wax right and you heat setting your um your drying your piece there it actually removes the wax lines on it see that that was the shiny side that I stamped on now this one here you can see on the left hand side I didn't 
dry it with the heat gun and over here I have dried it with the heat gun and you can barely see the the lines in that this one is the deli paper the real deli paper or the non wax deli paper let's say so that one there looks pretty much like that one See the design behind it? Fine. Although maybe a little less um, noticeable to this. Oh no, you can still see it quite clearly. However, that's the shiny side over there, and that's not. Hmm. I don't know. I'm still. Okay, you come back to the actual page and what you did, and as I said, that one there's the deli paper, that one there's the wax deli paper, you cannot see the lines once it's dried. Okay, and once you've um, blended it all into what you're doing. Now, here, I did a comparison. Did I show you? Can't remember whether I did or not. So with this one, oops, okay, so with this one, I'm going to dry that a bit more. Alright, you dry that and your lines just about disappear. So you're actually melting the wax. So I think you can work with the Australian version of the deli paper, the wax deli paper. I wonder if we could actually get rid of it. No, you can keep heating it. So there it is. All right. Let me know your thoughts and if you guys could easily get a hold of some... Um, Some of this deli paper here in Australia okay but for those that can't this is an alternative the threadstudio.com.au and it works just pretty much close enough to the same okay all right thanks guys bye